A while ago now, Apple came out with this haptic trailer to promote the F1 movie. Essentially, when watching on your phone, you got vibration feedback to do with how the car was driving. I thought it was quite clever. At the time, I didn't really look into it much. I just sort of enjoyed the experience. But now I thought, why don't we go on a deep dive and find out how it works? So let's jump into what's happening. So here on my computer, as you can see, I've got the F1 movie open. I can't seem to find anywhere here by clicking on any of this stuff the F1 haptic feedback trailer. But if I paste in the link, it does actually load it up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna jump into inspect because we need to know how it downloads the video. I actually did this first on iOS and I think I'm gonna get the same thing here. So if I reload the page, okay, so as you can see now, it's downloaded all that and actually it started to play the trailer, but then the trailer disappeared. I'm not sure what's up with that. It does that a lot. But I think it might have given us everything we need. We need to have a bit of an understanding about what this is doing. When Apple load a video, they use something called HLS, which is HTTP live stream, something like that, which essentially uses something known as an M3U8 file. This is like an audio video like manifest. So it lays out how to play the video. And this was developed by Apple, so they are very much in it. So in there, you can also set some custom keys at the top that you can access out of the player. And my guess is kind of that's how it's working. So if we jump back to the trailer, and actually somewhere here, you could see there's this playlist.m3u8. If we jump into this, you'll see there's a lot of stuff going on. But something that stands out to me here is the com.apple hls haptics.url. That sounds like what we want. It's haptic feedback we're getting, so haptics, that sounds right, and URL, we're going to need a URL because we'd have to download a separate file. That's the kind of way HLS works. Essentially, you don't have it all in one file. You have this manifest of, if you want it at this bit rate, you look at this. If you want it at this bit rate, you look at this. And we've kind of found that here for the haptics. So we've got this URL ending in apx touch clip evergreen dot ahap. I've never heard of a .ahap file, but we're gonna get on to that. Turns out it's common. Let's take this file and let's try and download it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up in something like Postman. So I'm here in Postman and I'll just create a new request. We'll paste in this URL. What you'll notice immediately is it kind of looks a bit like JSON. And I've actually taken this and I've put it into a JSON file over here. And what you'll actually notice, it is just JSON. There is this JSON structure with, with a pattern and every pattern has a time. My guess is, is that's how far into the video it starts at. And then I'm guessing this pattern describes how the haptic feedback feels. I'm not really sure. We've got intensity and we've got sharpness. We've got two parameters here. They all tend to have about two parameters. But you'll notice it goes down, down, down. There's a lot of it. And if you get right to the bottom, you'll actually notice there's some metadata where it says copyrighted Apple 2025. So the next question is, what is this file? Is this some proprietary format that Apple are using or what? I did what any normal person would do, is I Googled it actually, and immediately comes up is playing custom haptic patterns from a file. And I thought this is interesting because it appears that this is an open standard and you can see some sort of diagram of how this is gonna play out, which is very interesting. So this essentially means that they're not using any sort of proprietary format. A .ahap file is public. And actually, if I convert my AHP file back to AHP and look at it here, and I hit space, you'll immediately notice I'm getting some waveform sort of diagram. So the computer can clearly read this file and knows how to interpret it. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here in terms of diagram, but I know that this generates the playlist that we need. So they have provided me here in the Play Custom Haptic Files a download URL to an Xcode project that they've made. And I jumped into that. In this sample Xcode project, they've got lots of different examples of haptic feedback with metadata provided about how it's controlling the haptic sample. And I thought it's interesting because I've never heard of anybody using this. I don't know if you have. I don't know if this is something I've completely missed the ballpark on, but I've never seen any of this. But this is clearly something that Apple have spent a lot of time on building. It's clearly a standard. I added a really bit of basic code to essentially load the AHP file and then to load the movie file in the hopes that I could get the two to play in sync pretty simply. No, it didn't work. That just didn't work. It just, the haptics were out of sync. But I thought it's quite interesting how they've gone about doing this. It's clearly something that might come to other videos and stuff. 
I did try and play that URL in the web, but of course that doesn't work. So it appears that only in the TV app are they using the haptics. I think that kind of sums this one up. There's not much going on here in terms of complicated technology. And actually, it turns out to not be new. I did stumble across this article about how Apple made the F1 trailer while I was working out what a .ahp file was. And it appears that somebody called Hef already did this 10 years ago. They had created a vibrating um, video player by adapting some JS. And this appears to work only on Android, but I guess you could adapt it to work on iOS. And if you did the haptics within an application, you could make this work. So, though Apple have spiced things up a little bit here, it doesn't appear to be a new thing. But hopefully this will come to another trailer soon. So anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.